Welcome. Let's get you set up with FlexFuel on your Mega Squirt products. This example is a Micro Squirt, which is a condensed Mega Squirt 2. However, this process is very similar on all other Mega Squirt products. You can also use this same sensor on many other aftermarket ECUs. Let's get started. Under Fuel Settings here, you can click this and you will find Fuel Sensor Settings, Flex, this is where you need to go to set up the flex fuel sensor. Let me make this just a little bit bigger and set it in here. First of all, let me show you what a flex fuel sensor is. The particular one that I will be showing today is this Continental brand GM flex fuel sensor. Here's the part number and they are about $80 US. You can get them at Pace Performance. That's where I have purchased them in the past and had very good luck. So once you have installed the flex fuel sensor, you need to enable it. By default, it's disabled and you just need to go into the settings and hit enabled. Also, every mega squirt or aftermarket ECU has wires typically specifically for certain purposes. On this particular ECU, the micro squirt, it has a wire that is blue or sorry, purple with a white stripe that says flex on it. That is a specific wire just for flex fuel. We want to use that pin, that wire on the ECU. So make sure that flex is selected or flex fuel pin or whatever particular wire you will be using to get the sensor output from the sensor to the ECU. Make sure that you have selected that. There's a few different ways to do it, but just look in the manual for your particular ECU to make sure you have the correct wire selected. Okay, once you're enabled and you have the correct wire selected, you're presented with defaults. By default, these are the correct settings that you need for your uh, GM flex fuel sensor as shown here, the Continental brand. So that sensor has a 50 to 150 Hertz output. Leave that as a default. For the ethanol mix, we're looking for the sensor to see zero to 100%. That's its capabilities. At 50 Hertz, it is showing that you have 0% ethanol content and at 150 Hertz, it is showing that you have 100% ethanol content. For the fuel multiplier, leave, uh, leave this at 100 and this at 163. 100 here means that it is not adding any additional fuel. 100% will just be taking the values directly from the fuel table right here. So whatever you have tuned on gasoline here, these values will not be changed with a multiplier when there is no additional ethanol content. So 100 it should be your base here. On this high end, 163, means 63% additional fuel at 100% ethanol content. So for Megasquirt products, this is the default. I would leave this here unless you have a lot of time testing your own particular setup and you feel like it needs to be changed one way or the other, lower or higher. However, I have found this to be very accurate for many different levels of ethanol that I have tested on this sensor with Megasquirt products. So with that being said, the multiplier can add anywhere from zero to 63% additional fuel when you blend ethanol from zero to 100%. And you can also add ignition timing advance. Right here, you can add as a base zero degrees when you're at 0% at ethanol, and then up to any amount that you find is applicable for your particular engine when tuned on a dyno. So typically this is three to five degrees additional ignition advance. However, I would suggest only tuning this on a dyno where you can actually see how much ignition advance is helping your engine. Note E85 burns slower and requires more advance to get the most power out of E85. So I would leave this uh, until you 
are able to reach a dyno. But basically, from zero to 100% ethanol content, you could add, say, five degrees of ignition advance. And note, this is not E85. This these values would be a 100% ethanol. So if you're running E100, so if you put five degrees in this timing addition, if you had E85, this would be getting more like three and a half or four degrees. Only until you're at 100% ethanol content would it be at this max value, as well as the max fuel multiplier. Okay, with that being said, let's look at this baseline ethanol content. Most fuel, especially in North America, does not have 0% ethanol. The fuel that has 0% ethanol is typically called clear gas. And many people just use the standard fuel that has a base of 8 to 10% ethanol content in North America. This is also called oxygenated fuel. It is important that you know how much base ethanol content the fuel you typically purchase is. Where I live, every time I fill up, it's between 8 and 10%. And if it's within a couple percent, you'll be fine. But what you need to do first is either get a kit to measure it, or the preferred way would be to set up your flex fuel sensor using that fuel that you get from the, the pump. And it will show you when you have this flex fuel sensor enabled what the ethanol content is, and then go and change this to match that. So if it says 9%, you need to set your base to 9%, your base gasoline to 9%. What that does is it offsets the ethanol mix of zero and makes 9% your new zero, if that makes sense. So whatever you have tuned your fuel map to, say this is your 91 octane that you get from the Chevron down the street, that actually has 8% ethanol content. So we don't want to account for that because you have already tuned to what particular fuel that is, if that makes sense. So this is crucial. Make sure you have it set right. Eight to 10% is about where you would see that. And finally, the fallback settings. This would be if you had a sensor failure, what settings would the ECU use as a fallback in case of a failure? To make sure that everything is safe and it doesn't take out fuel, it will give you the most amount of fuel, which would be 63% and the ignition timing it would set back to zero so that it doesn't add more additional fuel for any or ignition timing for any reason you can also set this to negative so that it pulls out ignition advance to make it absolutely safe when you have a sensor failure but that is up to you this is it all you need to do is hit burn and you'll be on your way as long as you have your sensor wired in thanks for watching if you like seeing videos like this Give me a like and a subscribe. It helps my channel grow, and I would really like to see this channel move on. Thank you so much.